Hey folks, before you do the installation here, make sure this is very clean. And notice that you receive two strips, one for the top, one for the bottom. And the top one is the, uh, the thinner one, the thicker one is on the bottom. And also notice that on the back side, uh, the backing is cut. So the way you start this installation is you remove the middle, hold it here in the middle and align here. Now, notice that vinyl is highly stretchable, so be very careful when you handle this, otherwise you risk stretching it. Okay. Now, I'll first install the passenger side, uh, but so that the driver side doesn't stretch by its own weight, I'll just peel a corner and put it here, and I'll handle this later. Now just remove the rest of the backing carefully and now you basically have to lead the vinyl either to the top line, the bottom line, it's up to you, but it needs to be in the middle. And before you stick it, notice I'm just holding it very close uh, to the bumper but not actually sticking it. The way you stick it is basically go like this with your fingers so that you cover uh, the uneven surface. Also, when you rub the vinyl like that, uh, you warm it up and that makes it become softer and more conforming to these shapes. And notice I'm just holding it here. Uh, I'm not pulling. If I pull, then I'll have excess. Now I'll do the same with the bottom part and then I'll move on to the driver's side. If you get a wrinkle like this, just peel back a little bit and reapply. And if you do end up stretching this and you have excess at the end, uh, you can use a utility knife to just very carefully cut it out. And now I'll move on to the driver's side. Now. I'll basically do the same for the driver's side. And that's it. One last thing you can do when you're done is use the provided uh, paper squeegee and just go over it one more time, especially at the edges, uh, because you get a nicer fitment this way. Okay. 
basically just, just like that. 